field comes to the green flag. I think actually, I think the field is going to... Actually, nope, NASCAR officials are going to have them line up at their designated qualifying spots. So it looks like the field's going to sort out here. Right now, looks like the 21 is the pole. Yes, the 21 is going to be on the pole. It's going to be the 20 in second, the 15 in third, the 2 in fourth, the 7th in fifth, the 4. And then it looks like the 3, the 11, the 5, the 9, the double zero, the 0. And I believe that is your field. Well, and we have one car in pit road. Did not make roll call here tonight. And it is going to be the 21. Bringing the field. We have about an 11 car field here. So they come rolling through turns three and four. Down the front stretch. To the restart zone and green flag is out. We're underway. And down off into turn number one, the 21's going to open up to an early lead with the 15 of Dillon sitting in second as they roll through turns one and two. A little bit of three wide action about middle of the pack off of turn number two. Looks like everybody's going to make it down in the back stretch. Here comes the seven to the outside of the 15 as they go into turn number three. Everybody looking single file here, one through first through fifth. A little bit. We're going to come back here, check back on the back of the pack. Everybody's kind of single file. We got 100 laps here tonight. Whoa! 89 into the wall here in the front stretch. And around he goes. Trouble early on for the 89. And as everybody continues, we stay green down the back stretch into turn number three. Pottles in the three car side by side as they go into turn number three. Here comes fire in the double zero right to the back bumper of the three as they come off a of four. They make contact. The double zero slides up and saves it. What a save. He comes cross sideways across the finish, start finish line. And they're still side by side as they go into turn number one. We have 100 laps as the battle for the lead, I believe, is starting to pick up. Dylan dropped back from second to fifth. I wonder what happened there. Maybe got a little loose going in turn three and four, or one and two, and dropped back. But here comes the 20. He sits right behind the 21 as they come across the finish line. And there's the seven. You know, look at the 20 take a dive bomb move to the inside for the lead. This seven's going to follow as they come through one and two. New race leader out of turn number two. But here comes the 21 back on the outside strong. Is he going to get there? I think the, out, the inside lane is going to prevail. They got four cars to the inside versus his one car. So Jeez is going to drop back to about fourth, maybe fifth. And Dial in the seven looking for a run to the inside for the lead. And he's going to get it. Is he going to get it off of turn number two? Here comes the 20 back to the outside. They're going to be side by side off of turn number two. And there's the two car. He was very strong last week at Road America. Slight mistake early on in the race. Kind of cost him the win, but here he is. Right now, the top five. Pulling away from the field. As they come across the start finish line once again. Dial is your race leader, followed by the 20, the 2 of Addy, the 7, I believe, no, Dylan moved up to 4th place, and then, or no, that is Dial, and, hold on, too many red cars here, folks, yes, that is Dial, sit, or Dylan sitting in 4th, now he's going for 3rd on the inside of the 2 car, and he's going to get it. Dial is your race leader. That's why I got these guys confused. We got so many red race cars out here on the racetrack tonight. It's hard to keep track of who's who. So Dial in the bandit number seven. Brandit number seven for Junior Motorsports. Leading the 20. And we got a three wide battle going on back here. Here comes fire to the inside of the five car. Pottles down the back stretch. They're going to be side by side as they go into turn number three. Here comes the 11 to the inside. He's going to look to the inside of the five of Pottles as they come off of turn number four. She's going to drop back another spot. Ooh, a little sideways off of turn number four. And the 11 is going to get the spot. 
And she's still holding strong on the outside. Can she rebound back here on the outside? No caution so far here tonight. Everybody's still pretty clean. Going through. And Dial's starting to reel in the three. Or fire starting to reel in the three. We got two cars way to the outside. Maybe trying a different line out there. Dial dropped back to fourth. I wonder what happened there. So now we have a new race leader. And that is the 20. With Dylan sitting in second in the 15. And then Addy in third with the two. As they run down the back stretch. Oh, 20 makes a little slight contact with the outside wall. Down the back stretch going into turn number three. But right now, everybody's clean and green. Right now, the whole top five. You could probably throw a blanket over these top five cars. As the 15 of Dylan all over the back bumper of the 20, giving them a shove going down the front stretch. Here's the nine. Running back about near the rear of the field. He's kind of running his own little race, staying back here behind Pottles and his second group of cars. So we got about two different groups of cars. The top five are pretty much one solid group, but it looks like they're starting to break up. And then you got a second group of cars. And then you got the nine all by himself. But right now, Dylan's hard charging all over the back bumper of that 20. Gave him a couple shots going down the front stretch. And a little bit of bottoming out from a couple of these cars as they come off of turn number two. Dial in the seven. He's looking to make a rebound down the back stretch. Get back to the front. And so is the 21 of Geese. And his south point, number 21. There they come through turn number four. Down the front stretch again, the 15, still right there. This top five are literally all over each other. These guys have swapped positions. I think the only one that hasn't been out front yet is Dylan and Addy. Those two have not been out front yet, but everybody else, this top five, they're really working this track. They're using every inch. Here comes the 21 to the inside of the seven of dial. No, not going for it. Backs out of it as they go into turn number three. Dylan looking for the lead. We were just talking about how he wasn't in the lead. Here he comes off turn four with the lead at the line. Dylan, your race leader at the finish line. This top five is pretty interesting, but look at that. The second group of cars, I think they're starting to work together and they're starting to catch this front five. And fire into the wall out of turn number two. Down the back stretch. That, that second group of cars starting to reel in the front five. So we might have a, another four and five cars. Oh, we got a wreck in turn number four. Caution is out. We have a caution on the speedway. We had a huge wreck, two car wreck here in turn number four. Look at the damage on the three car. Three car, that is going to take quite a bit of time to fix. So it looks like the three car has some damage. Looks like Pottles came unscathed. This double zero of fires unscathed. Uh, let's see, who else has got some damage here? The one car of Junior Motorsports did not make the call. And it looks like the double zero is the only car right now. I think the 11 has some damage. But here we go. The 20 leads the field. To the Geico restart zone off of turn number four. Green flag is back underway. And Dylan on the outside as they go into turn number one. Here goes the field roaring into turn number one. Who's going to come out of turn number two with the lead? It's going to be the 20 as they come out of turn number two down the back stretch. Addy sits in second with the two with Dial and the seven right there. The Whew. Looked like we almost had a dive bomb from the two as they come off of turn number four. The action is picking up and we're still only in the first stage here, folks. Oh, we got another wreck here in the front stretch. Three, four cars, five cars, and we're going to have another caution. It looks like the five of Pottles is in it. The three car is in it again. The four car, the 98 or 89. And more tough breaks for that zero, that three car. Pottles is in it. She was looking pretty strong. The 11 has some damage. And it looks like the zero 
was in it as well. So we had four or five cars in a wreck here coming through the front stretch. The 89 was in it as well. So we had six cars involved in this wreck here in the front stretch. So Cody was in it. Pottles was in it. Grandpa was in it. And they're coming to another restart here as they come off turn number four. It's going to be everybody. It looks like we had some pit, pit stop takers here. And it looks like we're green flag racing again. It's going to be the double zero fire leading the field to the green with Paul Sue's outside. Our team really did very good work on that race car, getting her back out to the front. And, but right now, Fire's been out in the fr front for first time here tonight. Whoa, the 20 gives Pottles a shot. Coming out of turn number two, moves her up the track, and down the back stretch they go. Cars going everywhere down the back stretch. They're still going three wide into turn number three. Fire going to be out in front in the double zero. Going to lead him to the start finish line. Addy and Dial bumper to bumper as they come down the front stretch. Whoa, Dial looked like he almost hit the grass coming here down the front stretch into turn number one. Out of turn number two, front three starting to go nose to tail again. Will we have these cars break away like we did here and here early on? Will we have them split up as the two cars all over the back bumper of the double zero? As they come out of turn number four again. Using every possible inch of this racetrack they can. Oh, the nine car hard into the outside wall going into turn number one. It's going to move to the high side of the speedway and stay out of the way. Down the back stretch they go. Fire still leads down the back stretch with Addy right there in second and dial in third. Pottles in the five car sitting fourth. And then from the 20 car sitting in fifth with Jason. With Jason six in the 21. Riding along with your race leader. Now we're riding along with the 21 as they come off of turn number four. Almost three wide off turn number four. Here comes the 11. He's getting into the mix. Look at this front pack. Yes, we do have two groups of cars. We got four cars here behind these guys, and we got about maybe eight. The top eight are just pulling away from these guys. And you got a four. Whoa, somebody hit the wall here in the back stretch. Saw it as they come off of turn. Oh, Pottles and Dial hard into each other in turn three. And that's going to bring out a caution. And another tough break for the five car of Pottles. Looked like she hit that wall pretty hard going there. Oh, it looks like the four car was collected as well. Looks like some rear end damage on the four. On the, oh, heavy rear end damage to the five car of Pottles. So some very heavy damage done to that five car as fire continues to be your race leader here in front of the two car of Addy. So stages of racing here tonight has been very entertaining. So Pottle's going to start near the back. The 11 gets out of pit road very quick. Beats the double zero of fire. As they come to the Geico Restart Zone, and we're back underway. As the field roars off into turn number one. Whoa, we got a little bit of contact here in the back of the field. Does everybody make it through? I believe everybody made it through. Down the back stretch, they go the 11 to the outside. This double zero to the uh, almost split him three wide going into turn number three. Here comes Fire to the outside with the 20 to his back bumper. And here comes the two. Here comes Dylan in the 15 making a rebound. Oh, they're getting a little squirrely going into one and two. Using the low lane, the middle lane, and the high lane through one and two. 
Everybody using every inch of the track. Here comes Addy in the two to the inside for the lead. And he's going to get it through the middle of three and four with Dylan pushing. Oh, trouble for the three car. Hard into the outside wall. And then we got three cars coming off of turn number four wrecking into each other. And we will have a caution on the speedway. It looks like Pottles got wrecked off of turn number four. The zero of Grandpa got some front end damage. Pottles coming down pit road. Looks like we have a couple cars coming down pit road after getting wrecked. Oh no, Pottles did make it out of pit road. And the double zero back there. So the two car of Eddie is currently your race leader. Right now it is the two car of Addy leading the field over the 15 of Dylan. The 21, I believe that is the 21 of Geese. So now the two car of Addy leads the field coming off of turn number four. If you are just tuning in to the PTM Xfinity Series live from Texas, we're back underway after a caution. We are here live at the Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. Right now the action has been very entertaining. I lost count on how many lead changes we have had already tonight, but the action is still yet to come. Oh, we got another wreck off of turn number two. And the caution comes out again. We had another wreck coming off of turn number two. I did not get a chance to see who was in it. It looks like the four car was in it. Um, a three car was in it as well. They're having some very tough luck here tonight. Right now, it's all about that two car. He is your race leader. With Jason in the 21, he was your pole sitter tonight, sitting in second. I don't know whether it's the 11 and third or the tw uh, the double zero in third. And then there's Dylan in the 15. I believe that is the, the 20 of Baker in fifth. Bottles since there in the top five. As the field comes to the restart zone, and we're back underway. So Pottles in the five, sits fifth. Let's see how she does on this restart going into turn number one. Let's ride along with her. Looking for third on the inside behind the 21 of Gs as they come out of turn number two. She's gonna get it. Here comes the 20 of Baker on the inside. Got one car below the white line down the back stretch. Oh, we got another car around. It looks like the 89 goes around. Here comes Fire on the outside. She's going to get squeezed three wide through the middle of four. And they make it stick. And here comes Dylan to her outside. So she's going to drop back four spots. Well, three spots. Dylan and Fire getting into each other a little bit here on the outside of turn number one and two down the back stretch. I think they just ran out of real estate. As Addy leads the field into turn three and four, here comes the 21 of Geese to his back bumper. Here comes the 20 of Baker. He's looking for a rebound. Here comes Pottles. And the front, about seven are starting to pull away. So the field's starting to split up yet again under this green flag run. Will we see green flag pit stops come to play here at all tonight? And the 21's looking to the inside is the 20 of Baker looking to the outside. He has no help on the outside, but he's going to try to make that outside lane work as they come down the front stretch. And he's not going to have no help, so he's going to drop back. Whoa, looks like Geese made a little bit of contact with the inside grass here. Or slid him up the track, but he still manages to hold on. Pottle sitting third, maybe for second. Geese looks to the inside. Going into turn number three. Pottle's going to get behind the two. Leave the 21 to the high side. No. Can't get to the inside. And the 20's going to drop back. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes the number nine. Here comes the number nine. First time being here in the top five. 
Out of turn number two, down the back stretch. The 20 all, 21 all over the back bumper. The two, Geese looking fast. Here comes Pottles all over the back bumper. Him as they come through three and four. So as the field starting to spread back out again. Here comes the 15 and Dylan looking to the inside. Oh, Pottles hard into the wall. Dylan in the nine make hard contact. What a hard hit. Goodness, what a hard hit for Pottles. And I seems no caution. We stay green. I don't know how NASCAR officials did not call that as a caution. There it is. There's the caution. All right, I believe the two is your race leader. The 21 is going to be second. The 20 is third. I believe the three car comes out in fourth right now. I believe if that was the end of a stage, they did race to the finish line. So I believe that is why they did stay green and no caution was called. So I believe if that was the end of stage one or stage two, the two car is your stage winner. I'm not 100% sure on stages at the moment. I will get updates on that for you as soon as possible. But right now as the field comes off the of turn number four, the two car is going to be your race leader as they come to the Geico restart zone. Green flag to back out. Down off into turn number two, they go. We got the 89 into the. Whoa, we got a hard contact in the back stretch. Caution is out. So is the field's gonna slow up. The 20 of Baker back out in front. So right now as the field comes through turns three and four to the restart zone, the two car of Jeez back out in front. As they come to the restart zone, green flag back underway. Let's do a NASCAR, crank it up. here in the front stretch two cars go around and the caution will come out once again
So right now, as it looks like, the top five is going to be the two-car of Addy, the seven of Dial, the three-car, the double zero, and I believe the 11 or the 20 sits in fifth. As they are under caution as they come to the green flag, it was the 20 and fifth. Okay, they did get to refixing these guys. And we're back underway off of turn number four uh, through the restart zone. <laughs> and it looks like Dial's going to get the jump on the outside lane. The inside lane doesn't look to be going this time. As they go into turn number one, Dial on the outside lane is going to prevail to the lead. Out of turn number one, he's going to about have a maybe half a car length on the lead going down the back stretch. Here comes the two and the three as they work together going into turn number three into the inside. So they come out of turn number four once again. Dials your race leader across the finish line. Here comes Addy in the three car down the front stretch. They're going to look to the dive bomb moving to the inside. The 20 is going to be on the in the middle lane all by himself as they come off of turn number two. Looking back from your race leader down the back stretch. The two cars right on his back bumper as they roll through turns three and four. Down the front stretch they go. Here goes the three car looking to the inside of the two as they roll into turn number three. Not going to get there. Not this time by. It's going to try it again here off of the turn number four down the front stretch. Whoa, looks like the 11 got a little sideways. Saved it. And the 11 and the 21 are side by side as they go into turn number two. And the 20 is going to come to the inside and make it three wide off of turn number two. There's Pottles in the five, looking to race to the inside of Dylan. We got a side-by-side -side battle for the lead. The two car to the inside. Can he get to the lead again off turn number four? Who's it going to be at the line? It looks like the two car. Two car, race leader going in turn number one. That was a little, that was really close right there, coming across the finish line. Out of turn number two, this, this time, they're not really breaking away from each other like they have been in the last couple runs. They're actually staying really relatively close to each other. Dial way to the outside of one and uh, three and four. And the nine car goes around along with the 89. We got a wreck here in the front stretch. And we have a caution. Let's see who was all involved here in this wreck. It looks like the 89, the nine car. Looks like the zero was also involved. And I believe the five car, yes. Hard impact to the inside wall for the five car bottles. Tough break for her. Hopefully they can fix that race car up for her. If you are just joining us, we are live from the Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. The action has been very interesting here tonight. A lot of lead changes, a lot of passing, and quite a few wrecks, but... Right now, the racing is just getting started, folks. If you're just joining us, we're closing in to the end of this race. It's the double zero fire gets out of pit road here very quickly, and he's going to bring the field to the restart zone. And we're back underway. Here comes the three car. He's going to be in second as they go into turn number one. Let's do a crank it up. Outside, outside. Clear Clear hot, clear hot. 
big wreck in the back stretch. Four or five cars. I don't know what happened there, but man, did they scatter across the racetrack pretty fast. We are under caution here again, everybody. The 7 of Dial has some damage. The 9 has some damage. It looks like the 20 has some damage. The 4 are pretty damaged. Some good race cars here. Got some damage late in this race. 5 of Plotos has some damage. The 0 of Grandpa has some damage. The 4 car has got some heavy damage to his front end. The 20, strong all night here, has got some front end damage. He, Dylan's got some front end damage here, so maybe they'll be bringing these they'll be bringing these race cars down to pit road, getting them fixed, and hopefully setting them up for the final runs. And the double zero fire is going to lead him to the restart zone. And green flag. Doesn't look like the inside lane went. Oh, maybe hold up. No, nope. NASCAR is going to call it a single file restart. So they're going to file in and do a single file restart. All right, so the field's going to line up. After so many cautions, the field does. NASCAR officials do say that it is mandatory to do a single file restart, so everybody's filing in to single file order. I don't know if pit road is going to be open for anybody to come down. I believe they're already going to come off turn number four and take the green flag. Looks like we got a couple people a little confused on where they line up. All right, here comes the field out of turn number four. And we're green flag racing. And the double zero fire is going to take off down into turn number one. He's going to have an early jump through turns one and two. But the problem with that is the field's going to be nose to tail behind him and should be able to catch him down the back stretch going into turn number three. Well, folks, I guess that's going to come to an end here. I, lose, I lost connection. Well, that suck.
Okay. After a few technical issues, we are coming back to you live from the O'Reilly Auto Parks 300 from the Texas Motor Speedway. I don't know how much we missed of this race, but we are back. Coming out of turn number two, down the back stretch, it is the 21 of Jisha Race Leader. Last time I checked, we were a little over 80 laps in, so we have about 20-something laps to go. The three car to the inside of Jeese off turn number four. Can he take the lead? The three car to the lead. And now the 20 looking to the inside of him for three wide. Down the back stretch they go into turn number three. The three car is your race leader down the front stretch. After being in a couple of early wrecks early on here tonight, he is now your race leader with a fast race car. But the 20 is all over his back bumpers. They come out of turn number two, they make a little contact. And they save it. Here comes Pottles in the five car to the outside. I'm gonna dive to the inside, no. Look to the inside, not going to get there. Here comes Dylan in the 15 with Jeese right out of his back bumper in fourth. Out of turn number four, Dylan's going to push Pottles towards the front. Not going to look to the inside. I thought they had a run for him. They're going to maybe look for the inside shot going into turn number one. Jeese in the 21 looking to the outside. Here comes the nine as well. He's making a rebound. Dillon looking to the inside. Maybe the Pottles in his inside to turn three. No. Pottles all over the back bumper of the three as they come out of turn number four. His green flag pit stop is going to come into play here tonight. That is the question. Will green flag pit stops come into play? Stay high, stay high. Still there. Down the back stretch, they go into turn number three. The three car still your race leader. Dylan up to second now. Pottles drop back to third, and the 20 of Baker's right there in third and fourth. Riding along with the three car down the back stretch. We got a wreck off turn number four. Caution is out. So we are under caution here again late in the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. They had technical difficulties, lost connection, and we are back 
here live. And now it looks like the four car is your race leader with Pottles to the outside. So Cody is in the lead with the four car. Here comes Fire in the double zero to the inside. To his back bumper with the 20 right there. As they come on out turn number two down the back stretch. The three car into the wall. And it looks like did they make it through? And caution is out. We have a wreck here in turn number three. So ladies and gentlemen, the four car is your race leader. After getting caught in a couple early wrecks here, is now leading the field. So as the field's gonna take some pit stops, come out, and then we're gonna see, can the four of Cody hold on? The zero, double zero, fire to his outside, green flag, we're back underway. Down in a turn, but one, the four's gonna have the lead to the inside, as the inside line's gonna prevail as they go through one and two. The 20's on his back bumper out of turn number two, down the back stretch. He's gonna slide up to the outside and block the double zero, but here comes the 22, is inside going into three. And we're gonna have a new race leader coming off the turn number four. We are, the 20 is gonna be your race leader. And here comes the five of bottles. She sits in second. The four of Cody into the wall hard here coming off the of turn number four. Oh, we got another two car collection here coming out of the tri oval and we are under caution again this bottles will now be in the second spot with her northland chevy camaro number five sitting in second and it looks like the 21 of jesus in third the double zero of fire is in fourth Maybe those two are switched. Maybe Fires in third and Jesus in fourth. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like Dial is in fifth. And it looks like the two car of Addy will be sitting in sixth as they come to the restart. And ladies and gentlemen, we should be coming down to the final 10 laps here pretty shortly. This should be a pretty interesting race as they come to the restart zone as the 20 is going to lead them to the green. We are back underway. Down in a turn number one they go. Pottle's going to drop to the outside. The two car is going to drop back a couple spots. Here comes the 20 out of turn number four. Cars everywhere. We got another wreck here in the front stretch. And caution is out. Can the 20 hold on? And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the race.
So I believe that will be folks. So your race winner is going to be the 20.